Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pass a URL parameter like this to a button on the page. This can be really helpful if you want to be able to track your campaign traffic like this and see if that user clicked on certain buttons on that page. The best part about this tutorial is it's going to require no custom coding. The only thing you're going to need is Elementor Pro to pull this off. Let me show you how this all works on the front end and then we will jump into the back end. I'll show you how I have this set up. So as you can see right here, I just have this testing URL and I'm using this test uh, UTM source parameter. So I wanted to have it where when a user clicks this button right here, it will redirect, let's say to our contact page and then pull over this value at the same time. So if you watch right here, when I click this button, it will redirect to our contact page and pull in that UTM source equals test. Now you see how this works on the front end. Let's just jump into the back end. I'll show you how easy it is to set up. Here we are on the back end of the website, and you probably think that this is just a regular button widget, but in order to pull this off, um, the easiest way, honestly, is just using the default form that's inside Elementor Pro. Pull that in, and then what we can do is hide everything else and just have a submit button. So let me show you how I have everything set up. So underneath form fields, when you normally pull that in, you know, it has your name, your address, whatever. What you can do is just delete all of those, and you're going to see right here, I just have one item. So when you click add item, you can click right here where it says uh, hidden. So what that's going to do is just like it says, it's going to hide the field on the front end, but still have a value in there. So that's what this one is right here. And you can see when you click on content, hidden, uh, keep this label blank. And then this is where all the magic is happening right back here. So if you look right here, I have a thing called uh, request parameter. And usually by default, it looks like this. So what I did is I went in here under dynamic. If you scroll down to site, you can see request parameter. And then once you have that in there, you just uh, click this button right here where it says get, and then you got to type in the parameter. So in this case, it was UTM underscore source like that. And that's all you have to do right there. And of course, if you don't have it where it's called UTM source like this, you know, if you have campaign or whatever other variables you might have, you put that in right there. And then what I like to do is keep it nice and clean. So underneath the ID, I just typed in UTM. Uh, you can type in whatever you want right here. Um, then the next step is you're going to want to copy this short code right here because this short code is going to be the value of that parameter. And then we need to do a redirect on this button. And in order to do that, you just go underneath actions after submit. Normally by default, you have it at email, but what you can do is just remove all of that. And you can see right here, I have this one called redirect. And what that's gonna do is when the user clicks this, it redirects to a page. So if you go underneath redirect, uh, I'll zoom in right here so you can see. What we needed to do is have it redirect to, you can see right here, we have our contact page. And then you just need to add this little bit of code right here. So you can see we have, you gotta add the question mark, UTM source equals, and then that short code that we just copied from your form field, just put it right here. So you need to be able to make sure that the source code equals that short code, that value. And that's all you have to do. So once a user submits it, it's going to automatically redirect to this right here. So if you hit update, now you're gonna see on the front end that it's gonna work correctly. So here we are on the front end, just as another test, you can see right here, I changed the UTM source to uh, equals wiki design, just so you can see that it's gonna work correctly. So when the user clicks this, again, it's going to redirect to the contact page and then pull in that UTM source. So once you can see right here, UTM source equals wiki design. So that's it, that is how easy it is to pull this off. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.